Hey, hello again. It's uh, me, Benjamin Blue. Um, we're checking out this uh, game I saw um, in, in YouTube. Funny enough, uh, Starship Evo. Um, it did look really good and like it's not finished. Um, but like I just bought it anyway because you know what? I can definitely see this game being like a really good one uh, in the future. So um, I've only played like probably like uh, five minutes, like enough to sort of like figure out the controls. So this is like a uh, first look, I guess. Uh, I'm just recording it. To, you know, have a look and, um, you know, show whoever's watching this, if anybody is, other than me, um, what it's about. So, um, yeah, um, I'm just gonna call this dude, okay, or this person. You know what? New character sounds good. Okay. So, I'm um, pretty excited, because, uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, so, um, I just cut out the loading thing because stuff looking at that beautiful picture for like, you know, a little bit. Anyway, um, so this is, yeah, this is what happens when you start a world, I guess. Um, it's pretty nice, like, oh. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's pretty nice, like, the detail you can do in builds that I've seen, you know, in videos is pretty amazing. Like, it kind of is already in like, I don't know, it's like... I don't know, it's as good as Space Engineers nearly, and it's not finished, um, I reckon if there is going to be a survival mode, that'll be very nice, but, like, you can even put down mugs and everything, and, like, buttons that open stuff, and, like, whatnot, it's really cool, really, really cool, um, like, flowers, like, you can't do that in Space Engineers, and just, like, you can do so much detail, you know, um, but in time, I reckon Space Engineers will be just as good as what this has become so far, but so far it's looking really promising, um, so, coming here. Oh, yeah, I've done this tutorial before, so I sort of have an idea on what to do. It's probably just easier to just use the bottom one because then you can turn already. And you gotta go through all the uh, little buttons. What? I don't remember seeing that there before. Uh, so, you just come through here, and it's pretty cool. Like, I don't really know much about this. Um, I just know that. It's really fun already, and I thought it'd be nice to make a video on it, because I could see this being a game I might play a lot in the future, and like film, so it'd be cool to do like a first video on it and look back on it. Um, so just come through here, it's... The controls, like, uh, they're not as smooth as Space Engineers, but like, it is new. But, there we go, like, it's pretty good, like, it's fun to play. Um, and yes, so... Like, just the detail, and, like, the world, you know, um, the halo ring, like, how cool is that? It's like, I've always wanted to, like, do something like this in Space Engineers, but never had. And, uh, I got, like, two speeders there, and, um, yeah, so we'll go through that whole, uh, tutorial thing, maybe, <laughs> or just explore, I don't know, I went through the tutorial thing before, and, like, it's fun, but, like, you know, I'm just, like, too excited to use the, um... I'm too excited just to explore, you know, like, I'd rather go do that and then go through the tutorial. And it's hard to stay focused on it, like, yeah. So, we'll take this, because out of, oh, I got the hiccup. Um, out of these two speeders, uh, this is my favorite one here, I guess, because it looks kind of like a box speeder from, uh, Star Wars, so, I dig that, you know? God, that is loud. Um, okay. You know what? Sorry, but yeah. You know what? That'll be good. Okay. Um, I'm not doing anything, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I still have no idea how to fly properly. I do know if you press, I think F4, you can go in the third person. And just look at that. That's cool. I can just imagine in the future they're gonna have like hands and stuff on the actual thing because it looks a bit strange here. But you know, it's really, really cool. I really like this. So, um, things that I wanted to do, um, in this sort of just look around is fly around to the planets, uh, and, you know, see where you can go and everything. So, this is that, um, second tutorial thing that I was looking at. Uh, I should probably go through there, like, later, off camera and learn how to actually play the game, but it's so fun just, like, exploring the ring. So, every time, like, out of the two times I've played this, um, I always go up this side of the ring, 
and like it's really fun but like the ring is just the one biome so you feel like even up there is just the same as down here but um still the idea that you can like do that is just amazing so I'm just gonna go on here I don't know if I've pressed anything to get rid of my HUD I think I have because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be things showing up but yeah see it's a bit hard to I don't know how to um, look up so we're just sort of like flipping around and stuff so there we go you can use like E and Q to like rotate it just like in Space Engineers but really fun like let me drive up this mountain uh, we'll come back down and drive across the land like a true speeder like a true speeding montage See, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how to, like, point it up more. Oh, you can shoot. <laughs> That's cool. Um, oh yeah, and this has water too. But, like, when you go in the water, it's like, uh, it just feels like you're on land. But, you know, like, I'm saying, like, so far, this game is really good. And it's honestly worth the 28 Australian dollars, which I don't know how much USD that is. It's less than USD, but, um, uh... Yeah, it's like, it's really good, honestly. Um, but if you're buying it, like, right now, it's more or less just building. You can just build ships. If you want to, like, play it and, like, survive and, like, do some, like, survival stuff, uh, you can go ahead and buy it now. Saves you buying it in the future, but, like, um, yeah, it's basically not really much other than building in it at the moment and just, like, exploring this ring and, like, some unfinished space stations, but, like, yeah, it's uh, really cool, so I don't know how far I've gone. Okay, so that's the little base right down there where the thing is, and I'm here. So, we are kind of far, but you see, just driving across the whole thing, it's just, it's the same. Um, so I reckon, I reckon in the future there's going to be different biomes on this Halo ring, just like, uh, you know, there would be in, in Halo, I guess. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the ships now and fly around in there because the ships are amazing. Um, I just need to learn how to fly this properly, which is not going to be easy. So I just need to fly all the way back down there. So, you know, I think I'll just cut it out to keep the video short. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Um, I'm honestly glad that I cut that out because you would not believe just what happened then. I was flipping around all over the place. Pretty horrible. Um, but fun. Fun. It's cool driving this. You couldn't make something working like this with Space Engineers without mods, but um, Space Engineers is good, we like, we like Space Engineers, um, okay, I have no idea what I've just done, whoa, what's this, oh, okay, that's cool, wait, how did I get that up, hang on, let me just, what button was that, what, was it F, no, D, <laughs> G, no, H, uh, uh, honestly, I don't know what button that was. Oh, I've done something. I've ruined. I'm just gonna, you know what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's messed up. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Now it just comes down to which spaceship shall I take? Which spaceship today? Um, uh, this one's cool. I like it. The back is pretty cool. You can uh, open that and then jump in there. But the other one feels more. Oh, you know, it's really hard to decide. Let's just quickly come over here and have a look at this one. Oh wow, I can, yeah, I love this one more. <laughs> I mean, I've already seen it before, but I'm acting and pretending like I haven't seen it before, but we'll take this one. I like it. Uh, there we go. Let me shut it. <laughs> there we go, look at that, it's so cool. So, let's fly to the other end of the Halo Ring just to check out what it's like on the nighttime side of things. Then we'll fly away. Um, okay. So, oh, wrong button. There we go, look at that. So, to do this, you hold down L and you go really fast. And then press L just before, because if you keep going, you're just going to go through it. So, oh yeah, um, it's really hard to land this. I know that G brings out the landing gears, but I don't know how to touch down, like, gently. So, uh, oh yeah, the planets in this. I've tried going to both planets, like, on the inside. Well, I've only tried going to one, but I've seen somebody try going to the other one that I didn't go into. And at the moment, by the looks of it, they're not really uh, finished, so you can't actually go into the planets, and you just, like, your ship blows up. 
So we'll do that though, just to prove. So, so you don't think I'm lying. But uh, I'm just trying to figure out. Press shift. Oh no, no, that's not good. You know what? This will do. Let's. It's a bit hard to fly because I have no idea exactly what I'm doing. But let's check out this side of the Halo ring. Wow. It's crazy to think. I wonder if you can see the base from down here. Or up here. Or, you know, is there really even a down or up? Uh, I don't see it at all, actually. Uh, probably despawned. Well, not despawned, but, you know, didn't load in because we're that far. Oh, wait, I should probably shut this, you know, before we go into space. Oh, I just love this. This is so cool. Okay. Oh, whoa, you can... Okay, that's something I did not know you could do. You don't have to sit in a chair to fly stuff. And press oh, look at that. And then, what button do I press to... Oh, okay, you press tab to look around. Oh, that's cool. Look there, I'm just chilling out. In the, uh, spaceship. Looking around, looking down at the floor. Oh, wow, this window's up here too? Yeah, see, this is a cool spaceship. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Well, since you don't need to be sitting down... Let's go and check out some other things, hey? Um, damn. You know, I don't really know. Oh, what's that? Okay, we'll go there, because that looks cool. Um, there is this way that I found of doing it. P2 Space Station. There's... don't know what... I think you click in the middle mouse button. There you go, and then you can, like... Okay, what have I done? I'm going somewhere, and I don't know where. Oh, yeah, um, I don't know what happens. I've done this once before, but I've hopped out. Oh, we're going around the planet. It's on the other side. Um, I've hopped out while flying in light speed, and, like, it kind of, like, not bugs out. I just don't know what happens. Like, it's hard to get back in the ship and, like, control it. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to sit in here. And, you know, we'll wait till we get there, you know. I'll skip it out, because stuff making a 30-minute video, so... Way before I cut it out, just look how beautiful this ring is. Look at that. That's so cool, and you can go there and everything. But, I'm not really into that, so... <laughs> to the space station it is. We're nearly there, we're about 50 kilometers away. I think. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, that is cool. Getting out of light speed... Oh my god, what the heck? Getting out of light speed is cool, and holy crap, there's a giant spaceship. What? Oh! No! Where are you going? Where is it? Damn, you know, I don't know where that went. Um, oh boy, how do we get all the way over here? Okay, let's go back there. Honestly, it's just easier, do, you like, using the middle mouse button way because, um, it just stops automatically for you at a good distance. What's that one? Is that the same spaceship that I... No, it's not. What is that? Whatever it is, it's cool. The spaceships in here are cool, full stop. Oh my god, that reminds me of like this Lego thing I used to have as a kid. So, it's really cool crashing in stuff too. Oh, actually we're upside down. There we go. Look at that. You know, I want to go into that spaceship, so I'm going to quickly try and do that. Uh, uh, god, I don't know how. Okay, I need to fly. Tab. I need to fly. Where is it? There it is. Come here. Come here. How do you get in here? How do I get in here? No! Okay. Um, so let's go to the sun now. Because <laughs> that's the one place I haven't been. I went to that planet before and I saw someone go into there and it just... They blew up. So, uh, I know what's going to happen when we go into the sun. And that's obviously blow up. But, you know, it'll be fun. So, wait. We should always shut this door. I don't like flying with the door at the back open. Even though we're helmetless in space and stuff, but, you know what, here we go, to the sun, um, hmm, oh, what's that, oh yeah, I tried flying to a nebula, uh, nebula looking thing too, like that thing there, and that thing there, uh, it's just part of the skybox, you can't really go to it, which is sad, so, you'll just be flying forever, but, I've never been to the sun, so I would like to go to the sun, and, I honestly cannot tell if we're going into light speed or not. Oh yeah, no, we are. Look how fast that planet's disappearing from us. And then, okay. Well, the Halo Ring's on the other side of that planet, and... Oh, there's more space stations. Oh, what's that down there? It's moving! There's something down there! I need to find out what that is. Okay. The journey to the sun can hold, because we need to go down 
here. I have not seen that before and I will skip until we get there. See you on the other side, brother. Whoa, okay, so, by the looks of it, I don't know what this is. Engage autopilot. This is a planet, but I did not know it existed here. Yes, I wanted to go here. Huh, look at that. I think this is the one that I might have gone to, but god, that was so tiny on the, um, like, uh, map, not map, the actual screen. <laughs> like, wow, that looks like a cool planet. Um, here we are. Okay, this looks like it's, okay, this was completely gone, if you just saw before. Oh, look, there's the same spaceship as this one, that's cool. If you saw before, you would have seen there was no, like, marker or something on the map like these things have. But, look at that, oh, that's a cool ship. There's a lot of cool ships here. Oh, there's somebody in there, too. What? Oh. Come back. Uh, is there? Yeah, there is. Okay, that's cool. Oh, this is a cool space station. I haven't, I haven't seen this yellow, oh, yellow round thing here before. Okay, enough. Let's go to the sun now. I'll cut until we get there. So we'll say bye to this planet. Oh wow, that's the little tiny planet over there too. Okay, well if that's that planet, I don't know which is the other planet I went to, because there must be three. Strange. Oh, that must have, I think I went to that one over there. But wow, I didn't even know this existed here. Okay, let's go. I will see you at the sun. I need some sad music. Some sad, um, royalty free music playing right now. It's the end. There's no way to get out of light speed. We're stuck going into this planet. I mean, I could just press L, but you know, for uh, story reasons, the light speed drive is uh, stuck like this, and we're gonna go straight through it, and there's nothing we can do. Damn it. This sucks. But it's really cool. Look at this. Oh my god, it's moving too. The closer you get, it's so big. Holy crap. Wow, the sun really is pretty big compared to the um, other planets. They're over there. Look at that. Wow, I just want to look at this. This is engulfing nearly the whole screen, and then all the flames is going around it, you know. This would be a pretty cool background. A big ball of fire. So yeah, I'm just waiting to die now. Well, you don't die because it's creative, but you know. Let's just say we die. I'm waiting to die. How close can I get? Because we're getting really close, like, like, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, this is scary. Okay, what happened? Yeah, we're destroyed. Okay, this is as close as we, oh, wow. Okay, this is as close as one can get to the sun. Oh, what did I do? Oh, no. I pressed, oh, wait, because I died. Okay, well that does it for this video, I guess. We're back on the Halo ring where it all started. No. No. This is impossible. Where is the sun? There it is. Is that the one? Yeah, that must have been the one we went to. Wait, quickly, before I end the video. I just need to clarify that that was the sun that uh, I went to. Wait, it was? I've never seen that one before. Okay, that's cool. Okay. So we can't teleport back to the ship. But it's a good thing that we have this second ship. And I do not know how to spawn in a blueprint, so I cannot spawn in only like any other flying ship. So it just looks like this will have to do until I can get out of the atmosphere of this halo ring to figure out if that actually was the sun because it looks different because of the uh, bloom or whatever. So let's go. Oh, and look at that, it was the sun. Okay, that is really cool. Damn. I feel like space engineers did something like that. <laughs> no offense, though, but like, it's really cool. Oh well, you know, it is what it is. I've never been on the dark side of a planet, but maybe when this gets updated and I start playing it more and making videos about it more, I will, but <laughs> let's end the video off with this um, interesting dolphin thing going in and out of here. Wow, that's really amazing. Okay, so I'd like to thank you for uh, watching this video because uh, I'm playing an unfinished game, and I'm just really messing around, which is pretty fun. But, you know, hope you enjoyed watching it, because I enjoyed making this one compared to the other ones. Like, this was actually pretty fun. Um, so, yep. Uh, I'm just going to end it how I'm going to end it now, and that's just, yep, it's going to end now.